Okay, everybody, I did not go to the movies this weekend, but I did see something new, and this is the Resident Evil show that's on Netflix. I will go on by saying I've never been a really big gamer. However, I was a big fan of the Resident Evil 2 game and Resident Evil 3 Nemesis game. And I'm just going to go ahead and say this because I'm really tired. These games had more tension, more musical tones, more character development, and just an overall sense of danger because this was really painful. And how often do you see audience score and critics actually high-fiving each other? I'm not going to give much away. The show is mostly a CW melodrama with these two sisters who move into Raccoon City with their scientist father, played by actor Lance Riddick. I'm just going to say this, I wonder if Mr. Riddick's back was hurting because he was carrying the entire show. It's really hard to be invested in these characters because they're not that likable. So like I said, the characters weren't very likable, but I was trying to give it a chance because I figured, hey, it's a TV show. This is where we get character development, and this is when we get to learn to like them. No, this was just melodrama and emo kids. And you're probably wondering, when do the zombies come in? Well, the show likes to jump back and forth between past and present. So when we get to the future, we get to see some zombies here. But every time we get a zombie scene or any moment of tension, we cut back to the CW for more drama. And don't get me wrong, we do get a few cool practical effect shots and some zombie kills, but that is so far and far in between. Remember how the games had that cool creepy kind of tension music? Hell, even the Mia Jovovich movies kind of had it. Well, this show likes to do the dun dun dun, and then likes to play contemporary music that's right on the nose. I should have been the bigger person and not fought with my sister, but she hurt my feelings, oh. I'm going to say it, but this movie at least tried to stay close to the source material, and I'm really starting to miss Alice. I did try. I watched all eight episodes, and honestly, by the end of episode three, it felt like a chore. Lance Riddick really gave it his all, and he was a pleasure to watch. I just felt like he deserved a better show. And why is it so hard to make this game into a cool movie? We have so much lore and story in all these games. Like I said, this movie did try, but they did fail. I almost think if they would have just changed the name of the show, not called it Resident Evil, maybe call it Joy or something else, it probably would have worked a lot better and maybe tied into the Resident Evil lore later on. There is no rating for me on this. I just won't watch it again. And judging by this, I doubt we'll get a season two, but who knows, maybe Netflix will fight for it.